What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli, the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince of lemon pepper wings. If you need proof, click that link above me. That's all the proof you're gonna need. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make Greek lemon style wings. Man, I fell in love with this recipe guys. So what I need for you to do, get in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. Right, so here are the ingredients we're going to use for today's recipe. We have our Publix Greenwise chicken. We have some fresh parsley. We have some extra virgin olive oil, lemon, salt, oregano leaves, feta cheese, minced garlic, Greek seasoning, black pepper, red pepper, and smoked paprika. So these are the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. So let's move on. All right, so I've already measured out our ingredients and cut and cleaned our chicken. So what we have, we have three-fourths cups of olive oil, two lemons juiced, six teaspoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of dried oregano, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, this is optional. You don't have to use the cayenne pepper. And I have one teaspoon of Greek seasoning. So these are the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. So let's move on. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our marinade. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our lemon juice and add it to the dish with our olive oil. Next, add your minced garlic. Next, your salt, your oregano, your Greek seasoning, your black pepper, your paprika, and your cayenne pepper. And you want to give this a good mix. To combine the ingredients let's take a look at it and let's move on all right so in this step what you want to do is you want to reserve about uh, a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of this uh, marinade for later on in the recipe all right so measure it out one fourth to a uh, half a cup and i'll see you in the next step what we're going to do is we're going to take the remaining of that marinade and we're going to pour it over our chicken add your chicken to a ziploc bag Make sure you squeeze all the air out of it, seal it. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit these in the refrigerator for uh, a minimum of uh, six hours up to overnight. Personally, I would do it overnight. If you, uh, if I was you guys, it's just maximizing the flavor. All right. I'll see you guys in the next step. So I've already lined our baking sheet with aluminum foil and I'm about to spray our grates with uh, cooking spray. Again, this is for easy cleanup and making sure your chicken doesn't stick to your pan. So go ahead, do that, and I'll see you in the next step. So now that our uh, chicken has marinated, take a look at that, guys. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to place these chicken pieces onto our pan, skin side down, half an inch to an inch apart. Try not to overcrowd your pan. Take a look at that. Man, these things look beautiful, marinated to perfection. All right. I'll see you guys in the next step. So we're going to place these bad babies in a preheated oven of 400 degrees, and we're going to allow them to cook for 55 minutes, turning them over halfway through the cooking process to allow them to cook on the other side. So go ahead, set your timer for 55 minutes, and I'll see you guys um, in half of the time. All right, so now we're halfway through the cooking process. So we're going to flip these bad babies over and allow them to cook on the other side for the remaining uh, 27 and a half minutes. So go ahead, flip your chicken over, and I'll see you guys in the next step. So guys, what I'm going to do on this step is that these chicken pieces are done. So what I want to do now is I'm going to pull them out, and I'm going to brush them with that uh, marinade that we reserved earlier in the recipe. And I'm just going to baste them lightly with this uh, marinade and I'm going to stick them back in the oven for about two minutes to allow it to cook. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, same thing on the other side, baste them, stick them back in the oven for two to three minutes. And I'll see you guys in the next step. All right. So now our chicken pieces are done. Take a look at them. We're going to pull them out of this oven, sit them over here on the counter so we can take a good look at them. Look at this, guys. The color is beautiful. They're juicy. This is what you want your wings to look like. All right, guys, take a look. 
and I'll see you in the next step. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to remove those chicken pieces from our uh, pan and we're going to place them in an empty dish so we can get ready to sauce them. So what you want to do once you place them in the dish, go ahead, put a little of that sauce over your wings and now grab your lid. And what we're going to do a little shake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, shake it, shake it, remove the lid. And this is what you got, guys. I'll see you in the next step. All right. So what you're going to do now is we're going to place our chicken pieces onto our pan. Something's happening with my camera right here, guys. I don't know what's happening. It's out of focus. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. And this is what it looks like after I placed them onto the plate. All right. Take a look and we'll move on. And there you have it, guys. Greek lemon style wings. Isn't that a work of art? Yes. Call me Picasso. Beautiful. So what I did, guys, I added some um, fresh parsley, some crumbled feta cheese for garnish. It looks amazing. I don't know if you ever had Greek style uh, chicken, but Greek style chicken is absolutely delicious. And these wings are no different. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys. So all the measurements and the ingredients are in the video description below. If you need any of these items, you can also check the links in the video description below and you can order them from Amazon. And until, until then, I appreciate you guys for watching my video and staying with me throughout this um, recipe. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. And I am out. Peace.